Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I'm the light. And I'm back with another one. God bless. God bless. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits, high vibrations, and you're not letting anybody dim your light. Y'all, I didn't call a cold. Yeah. I didn't sleep a little time away because it got me groggy and stuff. I took some allergy pills. It didn't work. I'm going to try my best to do this message. I was going to skip today because I'm all stopped up and I might have to stop and blow my nose. But I'm here to give this message. Holy Spirit gave me a download. Sent me in a direction to, to um, do a little rebuking today. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I have to do for my Heavenly Father. Uh, not feeling my best forgive. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. And uh, It might not be that long today, y'all. Okay. Today is um, December the 29th, 2023, and this morning I was given the um, number 555, 555, five. just as the, the, as the other day when I was given the number 444. Look at the Holy Spirit. I want to say, I love you, Heavenly Father. I love you, baby Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. I'm never going to let you go. Let me go ahead with the meaning, <coughs> excuse me, the meaning of 555. It says changes are on underway, adventure and open um mind mind this I guess that says um new love or opportunity is coming your way. All is about to change. So I took the 555 and used it as my um, base to find the message today. That's how God told me to do it, and I listened to the Holy Spirit. So here we go. I can't see myself. I cannot see myself. Can y'all see me? I don't know if y'all can see me. Can y'all see myself? Oh. Well, I assume y'all can see me. If y'all can't, well, ugh. Don't matter, ain't much to see anyway. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead. It says, um, 555 led me to Acts 5, and I'm going to start with the story. I'm not going to really like read it, but I'm, the way I got I'm going to read it the way I got it, but I'm not going to just read it all by the, the um, verses. So let me go ahead. Oh, forgive me. It says, this story is about these two people, right? A husband and a wife. I'm not going to say their names because I mess around and smear them and mess them up because their names are, I don't know how to say. I know her name looks like it was Sapphire, but I don't know how to pronounce his name. So I'm just going to say a married couple, right? A husband and a wife. They sold some land, right? It was some land that they owned. And what he did was he kept back a part of the money for himself his wife knew about this and um, agreed to it he took the rest to the apostles so when he took the rest to the apostles I assumed he told them that he um, sold some land of his and he wanted to give the money to them and he gave and he told them evidently that he gave all the money that he um, acquired from the sale of this land so he took uh okay so he took the rest to he took the rest to the apostles but he lied all right so peter asked him why did um he let satan rule his thoughts to lie to the holy spirit and keep yourself a part of the money you received from the land and um in Acts 5 and 4, it says, Before you sold the land, it belonged to you. And even after you sold it, you could have used the money any way you wanted. Why did you think of doing this? You lied to God, not us. Explanation point. When the man heard this, he fell down dead. Dang, huh? Uh-huh. Woo-wee. 
The Lord don't play. It says, then the people heard of this and became very afraid. They was they was they were scared out of their bejeebies. <laughs> I would have been too. I'm afraid of God. God's hand, mighty hand. And it says in seven, it says, about three hours later, his wife came in, but she did not know what happened to her husband yet. Okay, and it and it says Peter said to her, "Tell me." Was the money that you got for the land filled this much? And I guess he I assume he showed it to her. And this and she lied and answered, Yes, that was that was the price. And then Peter said to her, Why did you and your husband agree to test the spirit of God? Or to test the spirit of the Lord. That's what it says. It says, Look, then the man who buried your husband. It says, oh, the men who buried your husband are at the door. The moment, at that moment, Sapphire, or the lady, his wife, fell down by her, by his feet and died. Oh, look at God. Look at God. They went up in their line. They didn't even have to. He said, what, what, what was your reason? I guess to, um. To get some type of praise or that they, they could trick God to get a, a blessing. So it says in 12. The apostles didn't did many signs and miracles amongst the people. And they would all meet together at Solomon's porch. 13. None of the others dared to join them. But all the people respected them. Everybody was scared of them. <laughs> they was like, hey, you don't mess with them apostles. They something else. Just stay away from over there. And when they see them, how you doing? God bless you. But they didn't have nothing to do with them, right? And it said in 14, more and more men and women believed in the Lord and were added to the group of sick and um, beds and mats in the street, hoping that when Peter passed by, at least his shadow might fall on them. Look at that. They just like that. The power of the Lord is on these people. I got to get a glimpse of them. I'm going to lay my mat right here. And hopefully if he passed by, I can feel the breeze as he uh, hit hit the side of my chin as he passed by. Oh, just let a little bit of his his shadow hit 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 my mat and my leg or something. Please, I, wa I want to feel the presence of the Lord. It's, it's healing. Excuse me. Let, me. let me take a little nose break. We'll put you up here. I have to, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I do it. My feet get cold. It's over. It's been some chilly nights, too. Oh, it's been some cold nights. Can't seem to stay warm. Yeah, it's got me. Got me this time. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get over it fast, hopefully. Okay, I got it. Okay, so the crowd came from all the towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those who were bothered by evil spirits. And all of them, all of them were healed. And it said a group of Sadducees, I'm going to spell it S-A-D-D-U, Sadducees, um. S A D D U C E E S. They became jealous, um, so that so jealous that they put the apostles in jail. During um, the night, an angel of the Lord opened the door of the jail and led them outside. The angel told them to go back to the temple and tell the people everything about the the news. The new night, the new life. They obeyed, and in the morning they went to the temple and continued their teaching. When the high priest and his friends, these people, heard that they um, heard, they sent the men to bring them from jail to them. As the guards stood in front of the the, um, the locked jail, when they opened the uh, they opened it, the apostles weren't there; they were gone. The jail was empty. They were found 
they found out that they were back at the temple teaching. They sent soldiers to go get them, to get the apostles. And the soldiers went carefully, um, went, were careful not to mistreat them in fear that when they went and got them, the people would stone them to death because the people loved the apostles, right? And they, they were probably mad. You do it, take them away. That's just holy men. No, don't take them away. It says, so the group said, we have to direct, we have direct orders not to, um, oh, so they took them back and the group told them, didn't we give you direct orders not to um, teach in that name? And Peter replied, we must obey God, not human authority with the explanation point. And it said in 30, you killed Jesus by hanging him on a cross, but God, the God of our ancestors, raised Jesus up from the dead, explanation point. Jesus is the one mm -hmm, whom God raised to be on his right side as leader and, and savior. Through him, all people could change their hearts and lives and have their sins forgiven we saw all these things happen the holy spirit whom god has given to all who obey him also provides these things are true so that is the message today that's it i, I made it i only had to blow my nose one time and it says and i put here the chosen must continue to tell the good news okay and keep the commandments of the 10 words. I like that when I found that out. I just think it so, sounds so cool. The 10 words or the 10 commandments. And it says, of the our Father God, the Most High Almighty God. Respect the Lord, okay? And His commandments and His teachings and His word. Abide by them and nothing nothing will come of, of, of you in a bad way. You will only receive blessings after blessings and, and, the, and the unconditional love that you that you're gonna um uh, feel the need to live in every day because after you after you get a, a taste of it after you get the, the taste of the better life after you get the taste of the joy even through the storm you're gonna say you know what this is all right i think this is the way to go for me it is the right way it's not the wrong way but did you see what happened to the unfaithful people that lied to the apostles that came and just wanted to flat out lie to the apostles for what reason? They said, it was your land. It was your money. What? Why would you come and lie to us? If you're lying to us, you're lying to God. See, that's what happens when you lie to the apostles. That's what happens when you lie to the prophets. Somebody's about to go down. And then see, look, he took his wife with him because his wife lied with him. You see? You see how the Lord sent me to that? That's for a Pacific person, a group of people. I told you I'm not nobody to play with. <laughs> I'm not. That was just a little taste. You know, because God knows I don't feel well today, so he gave me a little something to give to y'all. Prove my point. That's my proof. You shouldn't have messed with me. And you should have messed with Bay. And at this time, I would like to tell Bay how much I love him. I profess my love for Bay. I love you so much, Bay. You're so awesome. It's awesome, it's awesome. I told you all the time. I've been telling you forever, Bay. Lord Jesus, please. I, I need I need Bay in my life. I need to I need to go on to the next part of this this journey. I think I've done I've done enough, Lord, proving myself innocent or whatever they they have um, put against me, Lord. Try to stop me up. I just I just want to make it to the other side. I want to be loved by Bay. I want to be loved. So I did write some things. Yeah, let me see where did I put them? Forgive. My head's all in the camera. Some of them might be a little vulgar. This is a Reddit R one, okay? I hope I got them all. All right. It says somebody. 
mm, this is nasty now. Let me, I have to get that hair out of my mouth. Somebody likes to lay on their stomach and suck their thumb. Uh huh. Somebody likes to lay on their stomach and suck their thumb. I hate it for you. You have issues. Don't, don't, don't. It says birds of a feather flock together. Who you dealing with? Who are you dealing with? I'm glad Bay got on out of there. Uh, I have a feeling you touched Bay. And that's not, you shouldn't have touched Bay with your dirty hands. I've been screaming for a year, over a year, not touch Bay to little wicked witches. And then come to find out a, a, a man that, of a cloth that's supposed to be masculine, but he's not because he's undercover, brother. He likes, he, he's a bottom dude. Try to proposition my bae. As though my bae was going to convert his ways to being y'all's ugly. Oh, Lord Jesus. I wouldn't, let me, let me keep on going. Let me keep on going. It says, excuse me, nose break. Nose break, y'all. Oh, goodness. At least it's covered out. It was stopped up. You know how it gets stopped up, but it still run. Don't you hate it? I just do not. I have a fever, too. Okay. It says, it says the sins that stand out are greed, hypocrisy, hypocrisy, and lying. And these are the main things I noticed about this man of the cloth. Lord, like I said, I found one. As a matter of fact, it wasn't just one. I just said one. But it's a whole group of them because they all merge together. They all deal with each other because they're in a bracket. They think that they can just be in a kind of like group and laugh at people and mistreat people and and uh, throw spells on people and try to sabotage people's destinies and things of that nature. I already know somebody else that's going to get it and they're supposed to be very, very powerful. But they're not powerful when it comes to God. They're powerful when it comes to what they do to serve the devil. Anybody that's been dealing with this bed of the cloth it's going to go down with him in the wrath with uh, as long as uh, and his wife as well and their children. I see somebody's ch child look like they were scared out of their mind on a video of not too long ago. And I told y'all, I said, they got grandfathered in. They go through no storms. Let me change this up. The way they made their story out to be that they were just so... Uh, Famous from their hairstyles and their wigs and stuff. And then all of a sudden, they decided, oh, well, let me get your own into the preacher with, with, um, up underneath my, my paps. And, yeah, they do a great job of it, doing it. <laughs> and all that. It's not necessary. Oh, Peter and Paul and them, they wasn't doing all of that. They were sitting down talking to the people, trying to get them to understand that God is real and he's, his love is real and he's here to help every last one of us if you if you um accept him and open up your heart to him you see and i didn't have to go all out of <laughs> and all that donkey stuff that people be doing when they be on a pulpit putting on a good damn show and counting your pockets um uh, some some pastors even be trying to get you to write down how much money you make a year so they can say okay well now this is how much you're supposed to give us you want to go to the kingdom of heaven they telling y'all that, and they not even going to go to heaven. Oh, my goodness. It's hypocritical. Hypo hypocrisy. Okay. So, God is active and rules in the world, in this world, as creator. He has the right and the power to do as he wills, as, his will, as he wills with his creation. He can do anything. He can. He could take y'all and sit y'all to the side, shut y'all mouths. He could put y'all in jail. He could take y'all stuff from y'all. He's going to punish you for your wrongdoings. And especially that the fact that you came in between a, a divine connection that God has put place together. And no one can tear it apart. Nobody's supposed to get in the middle. I said that at the very beginning when the Holy Spirit has always been upon me, speaking through me, letting people know to warn people to stay out the way. Y'all been all up in the way. 
trying to pretend that you're on my side. That and, and and um, if you touched him, like I said, touch not my anointing. Do my prophets no harm. God sees that He's coming for you. I have here the seriousness of lying to the Holy Spirit and the importance of keeping integrity in the believers' fellowship with Christ. So you lie to the Holy Spirit. You lie to the Holy Spirit, you lie to God. You lie to the prophet. You try to you try to slander the prophets. I don't know what you did to Bay. I'm sure you did a lot to Bay. But I just know that what you did to me, and I don't even know half of it, I'm sure. It's ugly, and God sees, and I just want to know what 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 make you think that the devil the devil is going to protect you from God? The devil fears God. The devil got you tricked that the devil is more powerful than, than God. And that is not so. See, you put your, like I said, some people to put themselves in a trick bag, a big giant trick bag with a dollar sign on it. And it's going to burn. And what, what I'm, 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 it's funny because we always say burn, we're going to burn in hell. I don't believe hell is cold. I mean, hell, hell is hot. I believe it's cold because where the darkness is at, there's no light. So it's probably cold, dark miserable i don't believe it's hot see light comes from fire and uh, and we just said yesterday i said send send the angel of the flaming sword um when the when the bush burnt that was god so i believe fire is um of heaven but cold dark damp wet places is of the devil that's what i believe i think that's how they roll yeah, in dark places and corners of your house. Sage your house. Pray over your house. Cleanse your souls. You still have time. Okay. Let's see, it says, You know you are truly alive when you are living amongst lions. These are African proverbs. Until the lion learns how to write every story, will glorify the hunter. Ain't that the truth? Those are the ones that make the stories up. They run and go get a pen and paper and write down a story to, to uh, get credit for something they did not do. They want the credit of the miracles of the Lord. Where there is love, there is no darkness. African proverb. Let's go ahead and um, let's go sub from yesterday that we did not um, I did not read yesterday, and we got heaven's court here. Yeah, we do. I told you it's going down. Heavens, can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's heaven's court. You going down? Uh huh. I, in, in a high place. You already know who I am. That's why y'all came for me, babe. They, 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 they know who Bay is in the high place. They, they be a pimp, 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 Maybe they just wanted to go out with a bang. Evidently, they like, like you know, Queen Latifah set it off at the end. She went out. She said, well, "If I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out of the bay." So they come and look. Did I say a bad word? I, I, I didn't even mean to. If it, it sounded like I did, they come to play with. That's what I was trying to say. The prophets, the, the, the uh, apostle. Bay is an apostle, a bad man, Majama. Cold with it. My, mad respect for Bay. I'm not going to let nobody mess with my Bay. I said, look at me. Look how look how the Holy Spirit is upon me. Mother Mary is lives within me. She dwells here. And I'm going to tell y'all something. She's so cold. She amazes me. She, she, I'm not freaked out by it. I'm so very thankful that she would love me enough to be here with me. Thank you. I Remember when I did that video and I said, I like it here? I thought I was joking. That was the Holy Spirit. They was like, man, you're a good actor. That wasn't no acting. That was the Holy Spirit. I'm trying to tell you. Take over my body. Use my mouth. Uh, uh, order my steps. I, I will follow. I, I will not resist. Reach out for me to hold you up, bae. Because I'm going to do it every time. And never stop. I will never stop holding bae up. He's my kingdom husband. I have to. It's my duty to make sure that Bay is okay. Even if I sit in his car, everybody like, why she want to take him? He ain't even he looking out for her. No, he is looking out for me. I know. I feel it. I can feel it. 
I can feel his love. I can feel his presence. I cry for Bay, and Bay knows it. He knows what I'm crying for him. It says, bless the Lord, all my soul and all that is within me. Because the Lord lives there. Holy Spirit lives there. The wills. These people had the audacity to group up against some apostle. Ap well, apostle the prophetess. A high priestess. Yeah. That's what they did. Let me go ahead and get some more. A few minutes. About. Ah, oh, he didn't went in this porta potty. Oh, Lord Jesus. Don't go to the porta potties, y'all. Oh, man, don't go they nasty. It says, who can you depend on? Or who you can depend on, you will see the divine in your partner as you have in yourself. Your lifelong companionship. True love between two people is a gift from God. I ain't it. They wanted to take away bad gift. Bad gift. Baby long and probably like wanted to somebody and said he was just gonna wait on God if if God blessed him with another. Well, here I come, and then they wanna do me all kind of ways. I ain't no bottom person, not for you. <laughs> Look, divine love manifested as one's life partner to rejoice and share life with and talk to someone that I love, that I respect, that I admire, that I desire, that I know that will make me complete my other half this is part of my soul we we, we share an energy that just is undying it's love nobody's gonna stop it oh. and baby come soon because i'm at my ends of everything i mean that i know i shouldn't say this but i have to say it to baby because all the way i talk to baby y'all don't know and then i say these things and then the devil says oh she said she's at her end let's go get her on that way leave me to alone Have you don't you know what you are telling you was about to happen to y'all Y'all about to feel the wrath of my, my Heavenly Father's mighty hand. Y'all about to go down with a bang. A big bang. Bing, bang, boom. Okay? Let me go ahead. It says a prayer here. So let's go ahead because we did not say a prayer. And I hope I got enough time to say it. Let's go ahead and do this. God bless and respect the Lord. It says, Lord, I pray for those who are um, desperate for help those that are in need of your care please replace the distress with peace be the crutch when they lose balance cover them when it is hard to carry on watch over their lives in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen because i needed that that was a prayer for me i just told y'all i feel good um i did eat breakfast this morning that's not the only meal because the day is a few minutes, more hours. It's going to be Sabbath time. I got to eat one more again. I'm like, I'm like trying to figure out a budget, budget. It's hard. I got to put gas in my car. It's a lot of things going on with me, but I'm still in good grace and I'm sick on top of that. And I got to sit in this car, but I went to the library. I sat up in there the majority of the night. It was nice. At the end, when I left out, I seen all the little homeless people. The last one standing there that they was waiting till the lights got cut off. They the Got accustomed to being in there. One guy, he comes in there early in the morning. He has his, he gets the same computer, and it's like though he's at work. He has all his snacks and stuff, and he sits up there all day long. Uh huh. It says to make a um a proposition, a, pro, a pro, to make a se a suggestion of sex, someone in which one is not sexually involved especially in a suitable or defensive way. Mr. Man, here's your proof. You was a nasty joker. Yeah. Um, you and your wife probably tried to do something to Bay. Your wife looked like a weasel. She looked scared like she always scared in headlights. I said it. It's the truth. What else? Y'all came for a pure, pure heart, a big pure heart. You're not pushing the mess over this pure heart. It's protected by the, the uh, Heavenly Father. Um, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. It says, stop trying to throw your negative energy at people because you're mad. Do you see that? It says that. It says that. That's what your problem is, you hateful jokers. Hebrews 1 and 13. But to which of the angels said he at any time sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool? Oh, 
we, Lord, get them. Get them, Lord Jesus. Get them. I love you, Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ. Baby Jesus, I love my family. Envious nature, hateful, and, and um hateful energy. Look at that. This is you. It's y'all's energy. All of y'all going to go down. Oh, get them, Lord. I'll be scared right now. Look, ain't no shame in my game. I ain't shame. So if I go over the other side, I see somebody got a couple little uh, little lingerie pictures of me, a little little tooted in the boot uh, in the rooty booty, uh, whatever. I'm gonna be like, uh, hey, hey, everybody, all these butts hanging out over here, y'all gonna trip on this one? Y'all count the stretch marks on it. it, ain't gonna stop me from preaching the word of the Lord. Want an autograph on it? Let's see. You're going to lose your gifts. God said so. You're going to lose your gifts. Look at that. Look at God. Look at God. It says, for your wrongdoings, you're going to lose your gifts. Ooh. It says, look, keep sleeping on me because this gift is growing daily. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Even though I'm sick. Babe, look, twin flames. <laughs> flame on see that's why i know it's for the lord it's not about the, the flame is the flame is the fire of the lord we've been spending hot fire troops and stuff in here the love my twin flame man he's a, my kid of husband my soul man he's everything in a bag of chips and dip <laughs> babe will you sit on my lap will you come sit on my lap babe right here babe sit on it babe do i love, love babe and <laughs> you know how i give you kids and it says, the greatest of a champ spirit. Like Ali. Bay is a champ. I'm a champ. We champions. Shout. I'm a champion. We, we going to rule the world in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See, it's time for some good rulers. Not to get, kick them bad ones out. It's, it's time for the new, the new beginning. The new, the new world. Yeah. Um, God bless you. Love you. <laughs> love you, world. Love my people. Love my tribe. It says, don't give up. You come too far. Uh-huh. Too far. Especially not to let somebody or somebody old wimpy uh, devil worshipers stop me up. Father spirit in the house. Oh, no. I'm right. I'm right. My soul spirit. The soul spirit of the father. It says, yes, I want to be with you. I know they does. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I thank Jesus for me. Look, repent. Repent. Forgive and ask to be forgiven. You better. Because, see, what's about to happen is your wife better get on the other. Because it mess around and come blow your house down like the big bag. Y'all going to go down. What else, spirit? This is the truth. And it says, okay, that's we said reach out. But what have we got over here? We already said that. What it says, this... Uh, the spiritual dimension involves exploring the key principles, beliefs, and values of that of meaning a purpose to your life. Amen. And look, justice, justice will be served in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is justice. Courts have adjourned. Your verdict is in. I said, don't mess with me and bang. Man, we're going to be sitting on our porch and ain't nobody going to want to come visit us because we're so spooky ooky with the spirit of the Lord upon us. But we mean well, see. We love everybody, don't we, babe? Even the enemy. Let's see. Hey, we got that Leo energy in the house of Spain. It's north. Nope. <laughs> Look, they've been ego-driven, babe. They've been just, they really been trying. They be like, we want to keep our stuff. We did, we worked too hard for this. No, y'all, y'all did was sacrifice all kind of things to the devil. Even your own dang gun souls. And guess what? The devil got you. Your soul. Be cold. Shivering. Never coming out the dark. You've been living in there so long, you should be used to it. It says, I can stand in the storm. For I know the promise of the Most High Heavenly Father, Prophetess Regina. He picked the right one. He picked the warrior. Tough, tough. I'm, I'm rough and tough with my dreads and stuff. Amen and amen. It says, not losing no sleep over nothing. Uh-uh. I'll be asleep. I'll be asleep. Even though I'm a full, I'll be cold. I'll finally fall asleep. I'll be, I'll be sleeping pretty good and I wake up right on time. Ah, 
God says, time to move around. I said, okay, Lord Jesus, any which way, which way you want me to go? Left to the right or the right to the left? Go backwards. I'm going for you, Father, anything. Yep. And one more again, let me show you this. Heaven's court has adjourned and the verdict is in. You're going down, losing your gifts, everything. Your whole, your whole platform is going to collapse in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Get them out of there, Lord Jesus. Get them out, Lord Jesus. Thank you. God bless. And take care. One.